Alright, let's see if this works. I'm just waiting for our chat to fill up a little bit. First! Third! Hello! Hello, everybody! Yeah, this is my second little foray into doing a bit of online gaming um, and streaming it out over YouTube, so I thought I'd just fucking see what happens. I'm going to see if I can play through Resident Evil 3 because it's a pretty short campaign and it may be that I can just complete it in one sitting, so who knows? Let's give it a try, shall we? Gun Gun Comedian says, Notice me. I did notice you. Hello. It's good to see you. It's time for the, the thrilling intro to Resident Evil 3. She's going down. Than any disease in modern history. Excellent acting there. Looks like all is not well in Raccoon City. Uh, city emergency. Any costume mod? Yes, I'm going to be playing as Jill with her Resident Evil 1 outfit on. Because the existing outfit they gave her for Resident Evil 3 was crap. Oh, nasty stuff going on with your DNA there. That's the T-Virus at work. Don't trust those evil Umbrella Corporation chaps, they're not nice. I should play Last of Us 2 instead. No fucking way, man. That once was enough. Resident Evil 3. Mikey Gussler here says, Drinker, you say that Zack Snyder is unfit to direct Superman a couple of times. Question, does everything... Oh, fuck. I've lost the... I've lost it! It's gone too far. Does everything have to be comic accurate? Also, S Snyder said over time, soups would become the soups we know. Yeah, I mean... Zack Snyder is a good visual director. He's obviously got a unique style. I just think his style is kind of grim and dark, and it doesn't necessarily gel well with Superman's imagery and his style as a character. You know, Superman is, is a much more bright, optimistic sort of character. Uh, it'll just be interesting to see what he does with the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Right, come on, Joe, get up. We've all been fucking hungover before. Alright. Hey, I've got control. Right. Off we go. Looks like Raccoon City there. Something tells me I need to go to the bathroom. Go. In. Oh, there's me. Hmm. What have we got here? Am I drunk? Always. Yes, Zack Snyder should make a Warhammer 40k movie. That's from Exponent Tie. <laughs> Uh oh, this doesn't look good. That is disgusting. You still would though, wouldn't you? See, I actually like this aspect of the game, this kind of post-traumatic stress that Jill's got and the idea that maybe that uh, she's worried she's got some kind of slow-acting version of the T-Virus, but it never really gets explored in the rest of the game and that's kind of a shame because it's a, it's a total missed opportunity. Oh, here we go. What is it? Three more days, then I it's a calendar. Oh my god. I'm going to mess around with volume a bit here because it's very quiet. What have we got here? Yeah, it's pretty dark in here. Is there a light switch somewhere? Go.
go on and turn it on. What are we going to see? Now that is much better. You know, some people said that the character model for Jill in this is really unappealing and unattractive. I do not know what they were looking at, because what I'm seeing in front of me right now... Yeah, it looks alright, man. I'm not gonna lie. GD Chapel here says, Bought the first six Drake's books this morning, then bought booze on the way home. Good choice, man. Thank God for your live stream. Something I can focus on without worrying about forgetting important details. Cheers, sir. Thank you. Alright. What else have we got going on here? All right, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, fucking phone. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Fuck's sake. There's not one thing, it's another. I'll say one thing about this game, man, it doesn't fuck around. You know, some horror games, especially Resident Evil games, they like to take a bit of time to build up their bad guys, but uh, Resident Evil 3 is just straight in there. Nemesis is just out to get you, man! Oh, are you actually gonna let me control this or what? Alright, off we go. Run, Jill! It's a good question, how does he see with the trash bag on his head? Aye, that's really gonna stop him, isn't it? A fucking... ...bookcase. This guy can break through walls. Right, down we go. I actually don't know why they even let you control it during this. It's basically just a giant cutscene. Oh no, a tentacle thing. <laughs> I'm amazed her beret didn't move at all. Yeah, that shit's super glued on. There we go. I think now we're actually out into Raccoon City proper, so I can move around a little bit. Let's go and explore and see what's happening on town. Okay. Oh, come on! Give me a break, man. Why don't you use the Jill BDSM skin mod? Uh, don't know if I'd be able to stream that. <laughs> Fucking hell, come on! Well, looks pretty blocked up to me. So I'm kinda going by memory here, because it's been a good old while since I played this game. My objective is to get out of town. Well, that seems reasonable enough. You okay? What was that thing? Tim, if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we You abandoned me during the mansion incident, Brad. I still haven't forgiven you. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. <laughs> Bill T. Tarkas is saying at least Jill isn't punching him to defeat him, like in those awful movies. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't like high kick him in slow motion. Alright. Let's see what's going on over here. We're 
We're still salty about Mad Brad's mansion retreat. Yeah, we fucking are. Uh-oh. Someone's a goner. Don't think about it. Brad, you absolute hero. Pronto. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Do I actually have any, like, weapons or ammunition or anything? Ah, oh, that'll do. Perfect. Sorry. Mr. K, hi, I'm from London. Hello, Mr. K, I'm pleased to meet you. Well, this is where we get to do some shooting practice. Fucking head. All right, off we go. I've got a whole one round left. I mm, probably don't want to hang around here. to slowly walk towards you. <clears throat> the parking garage isn't far. I can the only safe place is in here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Dick. You dead, son. Oh, some bullets there. I'll have you. What, do you actually have to, like, reload? Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, back in the old days you could just combine items and that would be an instant reload. Now you actually have to do it in-game. If I can angle the camera down a little bit there. Yeah, I just remember when Resident Evil games were betterly constructed. Come on! Hmm, nothing good there. I'll try and lure you guys out. Space for you, sir. Come on. Drinker, what's your favourite battered food? Uh, battered pizza. It's fantastic. Uh, it's pretty much guaranteed to take years off your life, but uh, man, it's quite the experience when you have it. Hey, Great, I've been rescued. Game over, guys. Congratulations. I'll see you back at base for beers and cocktails. Oh, I mean, I still have to do more. Fuck. Can't see anything going wrong here. Oh no, famous last words. Powdered Toast says, Drinker, what's your favourite Resident Evil girl? It's gotta be Jill, man. Jill's the classic. Oh, come on. I don't want to make any jokes about women and their driving abilities, but come on, game, you're making it hard for me here. Yay! Have at you, sir. Press R2 to win. <clears throat> yep, you can totally survive this.
Drinker on a scale of one, of 10 to 10. How great is Steve? Uh, you mean Steve from Resident Evil Code Veronica? Uh, not great. He's a whiny little bitch. Hmm. This doesn't look good. Oh no, press X to back away really slowly. Killer insult, man. That's right, Carlos. You give him what for. You probably should have shot him a couple more times, though, because it kind of looks like he's still alive. While we're waiting for that to load, I'll let me just review the super chats. Because there was a few there. I didn't get a chance to look at all of them as they were coming in because I had to concentrate on, like, not dying. We've been bringing survivors here. Here and where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. So, Ebert Thorne, what's your favorite superhero movie? Damn, man, that's a tough one. I mean, I really liked Watchmen. Um, I know it's kind of a... A love and hate kind of movie, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and some of the MCU movies have been great. Like, I really liked Infinity War, and I really liked Captain America uh, Winter Soldier. So some of those are pretty good. And the first Superman film, like the Richard Donner one. Excellent stuff. <laughs> um, Exponent Ty says, I would do a sister of battle. Yeah, wouldn't we all, man? With or without the power armor. Yeah. Arch Stenson, drinker, I often don't get a chance to see these streams in the discussion streams. Would you consider uh, having a second channel on which to post them? Thanks and happy American Thanksgiving. Well, thanks, thanks, man, and uh, happy Thanksgiving to you and everyone else in America. Um, yeah, I do have a second channel. That's where I re-upload all of my live streams, and it's called Critical Drinker After Hours. So if you just search for that and subscribe to it, you'll get everything that I re-upload. You don't have to trust me, but I'm going uh, to... Edward, Edward Thorne says, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> it's not that kind of stream, man. Um, Winter Phoenix Forests. Karen, I wish Nemesis was a cute little white dog. This game would be so much more enjoyable for me then. It would, yeah. It would be more enjoyable for all of us. Captain, this fine young lady could use our help. One thing I will say about this game, the graphics are actually pretty decent. Like, facial animations and everything are all pretty good. Um, good attention to detail. Yeah, I quite like it. It's just a shame that it's only like two and a half hours long. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. It is Jill, you're right. Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. He is Russian, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Pass me the vodka, Sergei. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side. Not yours. Oh, hey. Wouldn't get too attached to those civilians in this train, by the way. They're not going to make it very far. Alright, Super Cop. 
Mikhail does need a green herb, yeah, that would sort him out. Right, so basically I've got to gather a bunch of shit for these people. Uh, whatever. Any ammo kicking about? Nope, nope. Fine, I'll do it myself. This is literally as fast as I can run with this character. Yeah, fuck all here, what have we got? Tabloids, nah. Probably better than the crap you get on BuzzFeed anyway. Right, here we go. Up the stairs. Joe, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Herbs, yes! We like herbs. No, oh, I keep pressing the wrong button there. Yeah, I know how to combine items. Jesus! Uh, I have a full 15 rounds now. No, don't have the lockpick for that yet. Uh, I do have to break this, though. Map screen. Yep, yeah, I'm in the subway. I'll take you. Red herb you can combine with green herb and it makes a super powerful herb, so let's do that. Yay! Okay. That's your manual for herbs in case you're an idiot. And I do believe I'll save my game here. Not that I don't have complete <clears throat> confidence in my gaming abilities or anything, but, uh, you know, it's good to take precautions. Right, that's a puzzle thing where I don't have the pieces for it yet. Anything I need to get rid of? Uh, probably don't need these right now. Famous last words. What's this recovery coin? Gradually regenerate health when held. Yeah, I'll take you. Fuck herbs, I've got the recovery coin. Sorry, this is the fact that I've completed this game already is gonna act in my favor a little bit. But I don't care, because I put in the work already. More survivors. We've gotta get that train moving. Do I really want to waste ammo on this guy, or what? I'll just run past him. Fuck it. Well, that doesn't look good. It's like that night out in Glasgow. Whatever could this be? This is what pisses me off about these Resident Evil games, right? You shoot them in the head, right? And it does absolutely fuck all. So it's like, what's the point in having the ability to do that? Anything in here? No. Alright, on we go then. Nothing here. Oh yeah. We need a little lockpick thingy for later. Hmm. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Hmm. Clearly I'm gonna need a hose. I 
I do believe the solution has just presented itself. Oh no, whatever will I do with that massive canister of dangerous stuff that explodes? One, two, three! There we go. See, zombies can be a bit of a problem, right? But when they're in massive big open areas like this, they're kind of not. Uh, what's the best way to go here? Try up this way. This is where my memory starts to let me down a little bit and I forget where the hell I'm going. Okay, what have we got up here? Nothing particularly useful. Pretty sure I need to get my hands on... Oh, shit. I'm not interested in that kind of attention, lady. Right. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Bit annoyed that I even got involved in that, to be honest. But it's okay, I've got my healing coin. Uh, let's combine these two together. Inventory management, you see? That's the secret for a good Resident Evil game. Uh, right, there's no point in me going back down there for now, because I need to get more stuff. Gotta collect those sweet, sweet items. Is there anything useful over here? Uh... Red herb, okay. Denzel Kanu says, I enjoyed your Star Trek Into Darkness review. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. I certainly didn't enjoy watching that fucking movie. So I'm glad someone got some entertainment out of it. Eh, yeah, looks like he's pretty dead. Don't know the combination yet. What have we got here? The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen, and so she'd never give up for a thief. Hmm, I wonder if the solution could be nearby in Aqua Cure. I'll take that, thank you. Oh shit. Didn't see you there, mate. See? People are like, oh, don't worry, you can shoot out their knees and then just knife them. But no! Apparently you cannot. Have some of that, you prick. Anything useful here? Not really. Time to move on. Hmm. What we got here? A block stairwell. Not particularly interesting. People are saying go for the headshots. It doesn't work. You can shoot them in the head and it just does the same amount of damage as it does to their body, except their heads are more difficult to hit. Look at that! Fucking just shot him in the head and he got up. Dick. Aquacure. 937. Hmm, could that be a hint, I wonder? Honestly. It's enough to give my arse a headache. To the safe. We'll see if we can get something. Right, uh... 
By George, I think I've got it. Oh, nice. Now we've got a red dot sight. That'll make things marginally better, I guess. See if it works. Save those bullets. Fucking hell, how many knife strikes does it take to put you down, honestly? Yeah, that'll do. Right, what's next on the agenda? Let's see what's in here. You look suspicious. Something you want to tell me? Yeah, there's one. Fucking hell. Fire hose. I do believe that will come in handy. Anything else nice in here? Got a shotgun for when it hits breaking point. Look it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out to find some more shells. Alright, cool. Hmm, looks like I'm going to need a tool to get that open. Well, there's nothing here that will get that. No, I want the grenade. Gunpowder. Just give me that. Hand grenade! Guaranteed for a good night out. Alright, okay. Inventory's full, obviously. Thank you. Hmm. Does that work? No. Clearly I need some bolt cutters. Gonna have to come back to this particular problem. Be nice to get my hands on the shotgun, though. <laughs> Review Interstellar, or else my cousin Jamal will break your fingers. <laughs> Not Jamal again! Uh, I am tempted to review Interstellar, actually. Good film in general, but then it's let down by a really shitty ending. Okay, this... Right, okay, I need to restore power to this place and then do a little bit of a puzzle. It's all coming back to me now. Nothing here, nope. What have we got here? Oh, yeah. Well, isn't it lucky that we just so happen to have an explosive barrel here? Hmm. 
which is the best place to go to first. Man, there's so many of these locked cabinets that I need bolt cutters for, or a lockpick for. Take your herbs. Fancy box. Yeah, okay, I need to dump some stuff. You gotta love the save rooms in Resident Evil. Store, I uh, probably don't need the grenade right now. Uh, or the knife. Keep the hose, because I'm going to need that soon enough. The fancy box. Yeah. Oh, I, it's almost like the game wants me to examine it. There we go. Wouldn't be a Resident Evil game without some kind of dual puzzle. That's fine. Save my game, because, again, I'm grossly incompetent, especially when I've had a few drinks. I love this soft rock that's playing in the background. Great stuff. Huh. Guess I won't be going that way yet. Alright, back this way. Come on, Jill. Oh, pretty sure there was something there, but never mind. Oh, fuck off. Honestly. I'm sick and tired of being harassed by you guys! Use the fire hose. Am I ever going to do a drink it recommends on aliens? Well, I mean, I've already done like a, an entire live stream on it where I spent like three hours talking about it, so uh, I'd say I'd covered it pretty thoroughly already. Yes, boat cutters, that's what I need. Delightful. Okay, yeah, guess it doesn't work on them. It's just this. It does mean I can go back and get the shotgun though, which is lovely jubbly. Can you see us? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, alright? I'm not in effect. No, 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 wait, please! Damn, son, you're dead. What the fuck? Exactly, Jill. What the fuck? All stars be soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? I wonder if this extremely evil guy is going to prove to be like the antagonist of the game. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Exactly. Stop having compassion for people. Ironically enough, though, he's kind of right. Like, if someone gets bitten, you should probably just shoot them. You know what's interesting, though? When Jill gets bitten, she doesn't get infected. Why? Let's just see if there's anything else here that I've missed. Always good to get some handgun ammo. Let's 
be on our way. Oh, dogs. Looking great. One thing that is good is you can just combine red herbs immediately when you pick them up, so inventory management is a little bit easier. Getting pretty full up though. Alright, what the hell have we got here? This is where I have to do a puzzle. Ah, hip pouch, excellent. More space. Uh, I don't really need anything from there right now. I might just save my game though, because... Why the hell not? There we go. Right, I gotta do a puzzle thing. Ugh. This, if I recall... Oh. Oh. It smells like... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Right. I probably need a shotgun for this bit now that I think about it, because there's a bunch of giant tick spider things in there and they're a pain in the arse but they can really mess you up and you need something to down them quickly excuse me guys I'm gonna have to come through here Jill's extremely slow running again Oh, fuck's sake. Get off. Let's just try this map here. Whereabouts are we? Okay, I am here. I need to get... Yeah. Dogs. She probably just gone for that initially.
See the family gathering still going on down here. Shitty rock music, check. Drinker, what is your favourite drink? Right now it's Lagavulin 16. Damn fine stuff and I'm actually tempted to go and get a glass right now because I'm kind of running on empty. Right, I'm going to have you. This is more like it. Oh, fuck off. It's almost like he was there just to let me test the shotgun out. I knew I wasn't going to make that one there. This time, I think I'm going to have to actually kill the dogs, which is unfortunate because it's a bit of a waste of ammo, but no, mind. mean, just one. Like the little incidental details you get at times, you know, crashed police cars and stuff. Kind of reminds me of the old Resident Evil games where it would always tell a story, just visually. Oh yeah, this. Fucking hell, that dude just doesn't give up. I should probably save before I go into this place, because there's a high chance they'll get killed. Uh, I'll take an extra green herb as well, just in case. Alright, that'll do. What we got here? Yeah, green herbs do work. You're right. Hmm. Hope nothing disgusting happens here. Oh yeah, it did. It's another thing with a thing in it. Oh, actually, this is really useful. I take that all back. Okay.
Use the thing on the thing. There we go. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Come on, Jill. It's not the worst thing you've had down your throat. Parasite. See, even my bio readout says it will be fine. Do I use the green herb? Use it? Oh, yeah. We've definitely all been there. We've got to reactivate the circuit breakers. Come on. Oh, fuck off. Not again! It's the throwing up animation that pisses me off, because every time you do it, it like wastes precious time. Definitely need you. Come on, come on, come on. Can I do it? Right, three of them down. Just one more to go. Chad. <laughs> if even Chad can't survive this, I don't know what chance I've got. like it. This is the one. Come on, Jill. You can do it. Come on. Give me a break. Now I just need to find my way out of this place. Which is easier said than done, because it's kind of all a bit samey. Ah, oh, there we go. Made it. Okay. All that leaves is the main power switch. Go, Jill. Do your thing. Enjoy that. I don't even know what that thing is. Probably should save that though, because I don't really want to have to go through that pain in the arse again. How's the PS5 controller? It's excellent. It's really responsive. Great bit of kit, really. Alright, I don't need all this. Store and... Store you. And keep the rest. Yeah, it's fine. Pretty sure the nemesis is gonna make another appearance soon. Oh, really? Okay. 
Onwards and upwards. Carlos, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. Hopefully the dogs are dead now. Don't really want to have to take them on again. Oh look, it's you. Didn't see that one coming, did you, you prick? That was a tough one. Kinda need to just hang here for a second and let my life coin do its bit. Come on, recharge. <laughs> yeah, where is he gone? Uh, apparently he can't come into this room because he doesn't have an animation for it. Which is fucking great game design. <laughs> oh, the first aid spray. I'd almost forgotten about that. Pretty sure he's going to make another appearance here. Yep, there he is. Damn, man, I'm stuck. Oh, that's awesome. I'm stuck on the fucking scenery. Sit down, fat boy. Okay, back again. We're back for more fun. Pretty sure there was a locker that I could open around here. Is there? Is there? Yes. Ray Skywalker wouldn't run from Nemesis. That's true, she wouldn't. She would fly kick him into the sun. Alright, now I've got to do some shit here. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you got to plot out a route. Okay, give me a sec. Yeah, because like, it's not like there's anything else going on right now. What have we got here? Yep, I need you. Oh yeah, I actually need to get my shotgun out and load it, don't I? Right, let's plot a route. Where are we heading? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Hey, I'm Super Cop. Consider it done.
Unable to establish route. Please try again. Okay. So first avenue, Raccoon Central. Okay, so we need to go O one there. First Avenue is Avenue, Raccoon City Central. And then we need to go to Raccoon Central Station, St. Michael's Clock Tower, and Fox Park. Uh, uh. Okay, that's fine. Try that. No, okay. St. Michael's Clock Tower and then Fox Parks too. Yeah, okay. Right, what am I missing here? Something's wrong with this one, clearly. What happens if I set that to zero? No, so it has to be four. Let's try three just to see. Took me long enough. I finished him putting the subway room. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Right, to the subway station. Fuck. Don't know what that is, but it doesn't look good. Here. Okay, subway, donut shop. 
into the subway control room already. Where am I going here? Subway station. Ah, my friend the nemesis. This, I guess. <sighs> All right, delightful. We made it this far, at least. I'll save that. Just while I'm waiting here, actually. I'll do a couple of super chats because I know they were piling up there and I just wanted to stop them from languishing for too long. Just give me one second, I just gotta bring them up. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, Merc plays. Forget Tatiana, have a few on me. Keep the content flowing. Ro love from New England. Also, the jail sandwich is the best sandwich. That would be a long night with a lot of rug burn. Indeed, but it would be worth it. Uh, Denzel Kanu. Will you ever review Interstellar next, Drinker? Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do it next, but yeah, like I was saying, I would probably be tempted to review it. Uh, I did The Dark Knight Rises today. Um... And, yeah, my, my opinion of Christopher Nolan movies has been, like, altered a little bit since I saw Tenant, and I think maybe he's not quite the genius that we've we've pegged him as. He's maybe just a little bit too out there a lot of the time, and he doesn't focus enough on the fundamentals of good storytelling. Um, are you ever going to do a Transformers cartoon film from the 80s? Prime Fighting Megatron, best ever. See, I was more of a G.I. Joe man than a Transformers man. Um, I'd love to do the G.I. Joe movie. That was amazing. Um, Dominic the Donkey. Cheers, Drinker. Hope you have a great day, man. Thank you. You too. And hopefully you get some entertainment out of this crazy stream. Um, Dr. Prof. PhD. Happy US Thanksgiving to all. Appreciate you keeping us entertained during the pandemic, Drinker. Thanks, man. Um, hopefully I can bring a bit of, bit of a laugh to people's lives, if nothing else. Um... Zulu Kasuki, hoi drinker, got your first and last books coming in the mail as well as a bottle of Japanese vodka. Ah, I've never had Japanese vodka, I've had Japanese whiskey before, uh, and it's always been good. Let me know how it goes. Uh, Exponent Tai, what's your favourite guard regiment and Astartes chapter and Sisters Order? Um, guard regiment would probably be the... Oh, what's the guys that wear the gas masks all the time? They're from, like, a death world, and they basically fought to a civil war until there was only, like, you know, a few thousand people left. The Death Guard of... The Death Corps of Krieg. Yeah, them. I love them, because they just don't give a shit. Um, Astartes chapter would probably be the Dark Angels. I quite like their style. Um, and Sisters Order, I don't know enough about the Sisters of Battle to tell you. Um, Colin Delaney gave me a cup of coffee sticker, so thanks, man. But I'm not in the market for coffee tonight. Swayed off the cuff, wishing you a happy Thanksgiving as well, although I personally wish you a happy pretty f, f bunny warming your bed and not giving you static. I mean, come on, streaming for degenerates like us, like that books and movies isn't bad. <laughs> Cheers. Alright, uh, on with the game a little bit. I'm going to need this thing in here. Oh, look at that, a lovely grenade. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I can open that. Man, Jill's running speed is absolutely shit. I mean, this is as fast as she goes. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai! How are we doing? The Dun's crawling with those freaks. Nikolai's got a serious walk Please there, man. Drinker, what's your favorite Ghibli movie? Uh, that would probably be Castle in the Sky. Love that movie. She's unreliable. Nice hair, yeah. Jesus, Carlos, fucking brush it once in a while, mate. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Jill. No! Jill, you absolute chad. Oh, right. Full inventory. That's not good. What to do? What to do? Can I get rid of anything? Not really. Fuck it. Just gonna have to leave it behind. Joe, Jesus. Nice to have a ship's hatch in the middle of a building for some reason. Carlos, do you copy? Carlos? Oh, shit. Oh, I need to find another way out. Wouldn't you know it, your radio always fails just when you need it. Jesus Christ, there's like save rooms everywhere here. Alright, I have to dump some stuff in the box. See, one thing I liked about the Resident Evil remake, amongst many things actually, is that it kind of forced you to play it safe with um, supplies and weapons and all that stuff. But now they just throw stuff at you, like there's... Oh, don't need you anymore. Um, yeah, you're practically drowning in weapons and ammo and health items. Sewers map. That's map good. Anything else I need to get rid of? Not really. Uh, I'll take you actually and combine you. That should do. Yeah, been that way since Resident Evil 4. Yeah, it kind of has. Like, the game's got more and more action-packed. Um, Resident Evil 7 was a bit better. It was kind of more back to the, the standard survival horror routine. Am I missing something here? Is there a door there? Nah, you have to get in from the other side, I guess. Oh, that sounds promising. Alright, anything over here we need?
Right, okay, so I need a battery to get in here. Bunch of poo and stuff floating around. Yeah. Pretty much like a night out in Scotland. Oh god. I'm definitely burning these clothes. Well, Jill, don't let me stop you. Another battery pack that you need here, probably. Yeah. Hmm. That door just won't open for no reason. So I need a grenade. Equip. Got to try and blow this thing up. Because I'm pretty sure they're quite resist. No, don't go up. Honestly, is this what passes for a creature design in Resident Evil? What the fuck was that? Good question. I don't fucking know. What's dirtier, Glasgow or LA? I don't know, are you talking about the town or the women? Oh look, another save room. Fucking hell. Ooh, explosives, that's always fun. Anything else useful here? Ah, oh, now we're talking! Okay, we are gonna have to make some space for this, though. Probably don't need that right now. Two whole flame rounds, eh? Right. I wonder if another one of those things is about to appear. Oh man, imagine my shock. You done? Good. I like how there's big sloppy bits of shit just floating down there. Yeah, okay, another one. this place. At least it's not another save room. Uh, 
that's what I need. Why can't I just combine it? I don't get it. Okay, gonna make this difficult, are we? Can't take that either. Okay. That's handy. Hmm. Fuck it. Just use that. Because what I do need is... Explosives. A love letter? I'm gonna do this in my drinker voice, actually. My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course, that voracious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. No, you fucking aren't. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities, like everything. So what if you're susceptible to heat? <laughs> okay, it couldn't make it any more obvious. So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved, Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Well, okay, I'm, I'm moved to tears by that shit. So basically, they're vulnerable to fire, as we've just discovered when we shot them with fire, like, three times now. Right, there's fuck all else that we need here. Uh, honestly, this game, this game. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? All right, discard. Yes, okay. Truly nothing can stop me now. Oh no, what will I do? I mean, this is literally just the question of resource management here. It's like, if you've got a bullet, then you can kill one of these things. It's like absolutely zero tension or anything involved here. What's this place? Help but feel like I was misserved there. I 
Ben just fucking appeared out of nowhere and ate me. Uh, right, okay. Gotta go back now. Can't believe I've got to do that shit again. That is disgusting. Uh, right. And there was me like, oh yeah, don't worry, I'll get through this on one life. Truly, I am shamed. Yeah, I ain't leading that again. Uh, right, nah, fuck it, leave you. Got me battery, I'm on my way. I don't know how I missed these on the way in, actually, because they were right there. The annoying thing is, I think the flame effects actually damage you if you get too close, so I kind of have to wait for this thing to... ...croak. Yeah, that's probably what I missed last time. Genius. Okay, so I need to go round and get the battery. Truly, there is no end to these diabolical puzzles. That is definitely something that I need. What else have we got in here? Not much. I feel like there should be more going on in this room. So if I combine these two, what am I going to get? Ah, oh, I can't do that. Okay, have it your way, game. Try this bit, I suppose. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back.
Damn, son. Hmm. <laughs> Zero fucks given for Jill. Can use weapons? <laughs> the ever present save room, right in the middle of a boss battle. I love it. I'm actually going to arm up here because. Got a feeling I'm going to need it. Anything I can get rid of? Probably don't need these right now. New Jill looks like Mila Jovovich. You're right, she actually does. Uh, I presume that's who they modelled her after, but I could be wrong. Ah, explosives. I could do with that, right. Uh, give me explosive A. Ooh, yep, they could come in handy. This is the way. This is kind of like the cutscene from the, the very beginning, where it's like I'm just following a set path. Just try not to die, and it's all good. The thing is, th like, bits like this where there's no particular element of skill involved- Oh god, look at this! Another typewriter! This is just literally to save me time, isn't it, if I get killed? Oh. I feel like there's something important there. All electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof. Entry to the premises is prohibited. All employees. Right, okay, whatever. So there's generators on the roof, I guess. Where on earth did he get that from? I mean, it's not like he was wearing that before. An AI there. I'm not even close enough to hit me. I'll definitely have you.
Oh, he's getting more angry now. <laughs> so basically, I just need to puncture his gas tank at the back. Looks like it's about to go. Oh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Toasty. There we go. Guess that's not recharged yet. <laughs> Dick. You probably don't want to hang around here, Jill. Hang in there, Jill. Man, she's tough. She can handle falls from like 50 feet onto solid concrete. <laughs> Vaternity, are you winning, son? Always am, Dad. Always am. Right, what have I got left that's good? Oh, I've still got shotgun ammo, actually. That's alright. Right, that was fun. Where to next? Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. I just need to attract these guys over here. Come on, come to me, my pretties. Oh, look, they're walking right next to it. That's handy.
Fucking hell, come on, drink her. It's a very murky looking level. Are you trying to hide your limited draw distance from me? I'll leave you alone. Huh. Guess that's not going to work. That didn't work either. This is so annoying, I should just be able to combine it with the shotgun. Alright, fine. Discard this. Now we're talking. Holds more ammo and... Also, now you can do it. How come you couldn't do that before? You're playing some kind of trick on me game. More gunpowder. Mm, no room for you. Forget. Kendo, you're all right. You're all right to ah, Kendo. Sorry, I get what a legend you are. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. Since the boring cutscene is playing, I'll do a couple more super chats. Um, Swayed off the cuff. P.S. Gentle request slash reminder. Paperback box set would be nice. Uh, yeah. Um, all my books should be available in paperback. Um, but I'm actually having a, a word with my publicist about this. Um, because I think the first three were either out of print or they were limited availability. So we're going to get them to do another print run of that. So it should be easier to get for everybody. Oh, that's, um, that's your job, right? Mikey uh, Gasus, this game is like my private zone. What it lacks in length, it makes up for in speed. <laughs> oh great! Fucking, hell, I've got no space in my inventory here. Ah, there's a box. That's exactly what I need. Handy. Right, I don't need all these weapons right now. Uh, I'll probably ditch you. That's for boss battles, really. And store and store. All right, that's better. Now I've got a bit more space. But yeah, it goes back to the problem I was talking about earlier. You can see how much spare stuff I've got already, like loads of health sprays, lots of ammunition, loads of weapons, like, you shouldn't really have that in a Resident Evil game, you should be struggling just to get by. Uh, Dirk Lemon also says, Drinker, which movie do you like better, Robocop or Total Recall? Which game, Dead Space or Doom 2016? Also, how much does drinking improve your film reviews? It improves them immeasurably. Um, in terms of Robocop or Total Recall, I'm gonna say... Oh man, it's a tough one. Tough one, but I'm going to give it to Total Recall um, just because I love Arnie in it and I love the the special effects. They're awesome. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and some of the lines are incredible. See you at the party, Richter! Um, Dead Space or Doom 2016? I prefer Doom because it's just unapologetically over-the-top insane and it's great fun. Uh, I'll take that gunpowder. I think there's one kicking about in here, actually. Endo's key. Spear gun powder here. Yes, there is. Hmm. 
There, now we're all happy. Let's go. To the next arbitrary objective. Do you really think this is the real Quaid? <laughs> it is. Oh, hey man. Looks like there's one of them things. I shot you right in the head, you dick. That is an extremely weird enemy. Things are really starting to piss me off. What delights await us in here? A bed. You know, would it kill them to just say, you've used the lockpick? I mean, do you have to, like, manually select it every time? Also, the old Resident Evil games used to just give you a prompt when you had a useless item and ask you to discard it. Now again, you've got to go into the inventory. It's just little tiny things like that. It's not a big deal, but it just, like... It's just a little bit less thought put into it. <laughs> Does this guy just go to a shop every time he fights me and just finds another gun? Really? Gotta keep moving around it's like a spaz. This is just like your standard Call of Duty routine. See, that's just cheap shot in me. Go off. Honestly. Uh, I should probably use that for now. And equip that. No, Carlos, we are not shitting you. Me too. Yeah. Oh, it's slow-mo shot. Bullet time. Damn, man, Jill's tougher than mighty Thor. Fucking nothing can stop her. Perfect, this is what we need. Another building to climb. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Super. Come on, limp your way along, you can do it. Starting to regret not having that grenade launcher now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Chill. You there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. Okay, where am I at now? Donut shop. Okay. Yep. Uh, 
not much choice on where I go, I guess. Oh god, it's horrific! This is insanity right now. Nemesis isn't looking too hot. Come on, forget about him. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> you know what we need? Another save room. My ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, Not sure that's true. What matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Now you'll be safe. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Sorry, I'm just fucking around with the camera angles here. I was trying to get a close-up of her boobs. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Thank you, stereotypical Hello, Russian man. Your orders, you need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Park. This isn't the last man out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! See you later, Carlos. I'm sure you won't be back to save my arse later. You don't really think a thin so portion like part of is still alive, do you? I have a done good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Well, this is playing. Um, what else have I got here? Steve Hart, high drinker, reading Redemption and loving it so far. Would you consider doing a stream on the 1986 Transformers animated movie? It's awesome. This is the second one I've heard about this. I mean, I'd be alright to talk about it. I guess I would need to rewatch it, because I haven't seen it in like 25 years. Oh look, Nemesis is back. Again. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after the moon. <laughs> Nikolai! Oh no, Obvi obviously dodgy guy betrayed us. Who would have thought it? Get 
kicked off my train. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if he's a stereotypical Russian, that dude is officially a legend. Dirk Lemon here raised a good point. How did Nemesis even get on the train since we're moving at like 50 miles an hour easily? Rest in vodka, good sir. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is the bit where Carlos goes to the police station for some reason. Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. You sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Hmm, not looking good. It's definitely like that stag do in Prague. Brad, stop! T. Come on, man. Not you too. Sorry. Sorry. Marvin, no! Shit, it's locked! You stay on the door. I got this fucker. I'd like to say I'm sorry to put you down, Brad, but I'm not. still worth a damn than Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Right. Someone's pointed out, doesn't Nemesis kill Brad in the original? Yeah, he does. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Yep, in what situation like this would we not be careful? Uh, Dominic the Donkey asked me, Drinker, have you seen Shin Godzilla? I recommend it if you like Godzilla movies. Yeah, I mean, the Godzilla movies I've seen have been the god-awful one from, like, 1998. And, uh, the two more recent ones, uh, especially the one with Charles Dance, was absolutely terrible. Uh, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to see some of the classic original ones. Uh, James Frost, thanks for doing what you do, man. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Um, John H. Drinker got the HPV vi virus herbs. Don't work. No help. <laughs> Probably go to the doctors then, I would say, man. Um, exponent tie. Protagonist plot armor is the best, right? It, it pretty much is, yeah. Nobody's going to take down the protagonist. Uh, anything useful here? No. No. Nope. Bunch of bloodied rags. Area looks clear. Uh, nothing useful here. Yeah, it's your standard RE3 situation where most of this police station is blocked off because they couldn't be arsed programming it. And it's just... Here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for 
doesn't look that weird to me, mate. It just looks like a door with a handle. Will the star's key work? Yes, it will. I'm really glad I killed Brad now. Right, so I'm going to need that car to access all the storage boxes. Makes sense. <laughs> That'll be the liquor then. Someone else said it'd be pretty cool if body armor actually worked in video games. Yeah, it would. It's just there for show. It makes you feel better. Huh. I mean, I've had worse nights, to be fair, but that's, that's up there for sure. Can't go in here. Okay. Hey, man. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty? All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Where am I again? Let's see. So, I've got to get to the safety deposit room. Yeah, I've got to go upstairs to the stars room. Pretty sure there's something in here, though. No, okay, not going to let me in there. Seems fair. Probably use a grenade in a situation like this. Alright, can't go that way. Uh, have to get around them somehow. It's not like we're particularly short on ammo in this game. Slightly less shit assault rifle. Oh, didn't even notice you. combination for this one. If only someone would leave a convenient note nearby. So we're going to have to go to the safety deposit room because that's where their battery is. Fair enough. This door is locked for unknown reasons. And it is directly opposite, okay. <laughs> you got me.
What I really need is a key. Okay. Right. Left. Right. Fifteen. Left seven. Left nine, right fifteen, left seven. Well, if cameras killed those things, I'd be set. Good pun, Carlos. There we go. Ah, eh, handy enough, I suppose. All right. Every time. There's just one waiting for you every single time you come out there. Interesting. The map actually tells you where there's stuff for you. While I'm going here, Bay Lajner says, You beautiful bastard, thank you for all you've taught me about movies. Also, I'm playing Resi 2 for the first time on PS5. <laughs> Epic. Yeah, nice one, mate. Uh, Swayed off the cuff. I understand if you couldn't get the good outfits for player character, but did you at least replace Mr. X with Thomas the Train? <laughs> Only on PC. Alright, so we need to go upstairs. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure there'll be some arbitrary problem along the way. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Because we got to spin this experience out a little bit more. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the exploding way. Anything in here before I blow it? Don't know the code, can't be arsed finding it. I will take you though. Right, let's blow something up. Oh, you bastard! Right, let's go find a battery. Pretty sure it's going to be in the... Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the battery we need is going to be in the safety deposit room, so I just need to... Which one is this for? Okay, that's nice. This will get us into the safety deposit room. Don't know you. Yeah, no battery with the walkie-talkie. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Also, I like the in games like this, you can be armed with a grenade launcher and you still can't get through a locked wooden door. Right, run around, do the thing, go to the other thing. See, that's the problem with having your brain on the outside of your head. Kind of leaves you a wee bit vulnerable to gunfire. Okay, where's the battery? That'll be you. Hello, sir. So we got that I can shop for here. Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, literally the only thing I can grab is that battery, so whatever. Yeah, 106. Not sure if there's a missing key though. Oh no, it's there. Okay, you put the thing in the thing. Now we can blow some things up. Discard. Sure anyone else doesn't want to jump out of me? Yep, told you. While I'm here, uh, farewell, Thunderchild. We'd love to watch live, but Resident Evil 3 was on offer, so I'm playing it now. Finally played all the Resident Evil games, including both the G-Con ones. The OG 3 is my favourite. Yeah, original Resident Evil 2 was mine. Uh, just a great game all round. Right, do I really need all this stuff? I need to ditch the knife. Okay. Anything in here that's worth seeing? No. Don't know why. You can even switch that light on, but whatever. Yeah, combine them. Alright, on we go. Deal with you later. Go 
Charles, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Personally, I would have gone a bit further back, but each to their own. Of course there's more zombies. What the fuck is that? It's like something's like tripping me or something. Myself here, actually. This is a busy area. Oh, fucking hell. This is a lot going on here. Ah, right, the heater blew up. Okay, I was getting shot by steam. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Oh, sick burn. I like him already. Yeah, you would. Kyle McCrory, by the way, says, with the wet turd, the new Tremors movie on Netflix is, would you be willing to do a review of the Tremors series? I would, I would definitely be willing to do one for the first movie. I loved that one. They were all kind of downhill from there. Um, hey, Drinker, this is from John Miller. Um, have a favorite bad video game movie? Uh, wow, there's so many. Probably Tomb Raider, I would say. Um, just because... It's got Angelina Jolie in it, and she's very bouncy in that. Um, Industrial says, Hello, Drinker. I made an EFAP tribute song a while back titled Rage of the Wolf. Would you be cool with me writing one for you as well? <laughs> Happy travels. Yeah, go for it, man. Knock yourself out. Nothing else in here. I like the star's office actually, it looks pretty cool. I remember seeing it in the original Resident Evil 2 for the first time and I was like, ah, so this is where they this is where they worked out of. This is a nice place to be. Right, don't need that anymore. Store it. I think there was something about the original pre-rendered backgrounds on the Resident Evil games, they just had this kind of weird, cosy feel to them. What's this? Anything worthwhile? <laughs> That's just a great police report. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation, located in the Arkley Mountains. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were ridiculous. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Yes, all you have is the sworn testimonies of five different law enforcement professionals. Is that Jill in the front row? It is Jill. Sandwiched. Right, how much stuff have I got to carry? Okay, where the hell am I going now? 
Right, go to the hospital. Okay, guess that's us then. Yeah, what's up? Deep rail. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Carlos and phone calls, they don't mix. <laughs> What's my thoughts on the new Resident Evil movie? Like, the new, new one that they're going to be rebooting. Um, I don't know enough about it yet. I still haven't been able to find out much about it online. Um, but apparently, I heard rumours it's going to stick a lot more closely to the, the games. So, good on it. That's what we want. Find a way above ground. I sense a save room coming up. I also sense that I'm probably not going to get this game completed in one sitting tonight. So what I will probably do is finish up shortly. And we'll get through the last of the super chats as well though while I'm here. Mr. V here says, Drinker, check out Observer System Redux for PS5. Okay, good recommendation. The Hulkman says, do you like the movie Heat? Yes, I absolutely like it, and uh, still planning to do a review on it sometime. Um, Andre, Andre Antonio Gonzalez says, hey Drinker, when you ejaculate, is it rum or vodka? Well, I mean, it's clear, so probably vodka. Now, uh, let's see, is there any others that I've missed? Uh, Marksman of 117B. Did you ever watch Hardcore Henry? Yes! Fucking love that film. It's great. It's just absolutely insane. But uh, really good fun as well. So, yeah, cracking. Um, and Farewell Thunderchild here says, Finished and I have more spare herbs. Nope. Oh, can't see all of that. Takes forever to refresh. Finished and I have more spare herbs than Glasto. <laughs> Yeah, this this game just absolutely throws them at you. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. So I'm probably I'm going to save it there, and I'm going to continue this tomorrow and try and complete it. So I guess tune in then. But as for now, uh, I guess that's kind of all I've got for today. So I'm going to go away now.